Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginner zoo video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will learn how to obtain a CSI certificate from CSR file for IIS website. In order to get a CSI certificate, we first need to generate a certificate signing request and then follow additional steps to get it signed by certificate authority. This will make a certificate a valid CSI digital SSL certificate. We will use a local certification authority to obtain a CSI digital certificate. If you are unsure about how to install and configure Enterprise Root CA, check out the previous video. Link to that video is given in the description. I'm going to show you how to obtain a CSI SSL certificate from certificate signing request file in this video. But first, let's understand the test lab we will be using in this video. We have single domain Active Directory forest named msftwebcast.com. This is a Windows Server 2022 domain controller SRT22-DC01. Let's go to our CA server. On this server, we have set up an Enterprise Root Certification Authority in previous videos. Let's go to our web server VM. On this member server, we have installed the IIS web service. The first step is to generate a certificate signing request using IIS manager. One quick way to open IIS manager is by opening the run command, then typing inetmgr and clicking the OK button. Click on server name which is srt22 an srv 2 in our case. Double click the server certificates. In the Actions menu, click the Create Certificate Request link. Fill out the Distinguished Name Properties form. In Common Name, type the host name that will use this certificate. This is usually a fully qualified domain name like srt22-msftwebcast.com or www.msftwebcast.com. You can also use a wildcard like asterisk-msftwebcast.com. In the organization field, type the legal name of your company or organization. In organizational unit field, type the name of your department within the organization. Frequently, this entry will be listed as IT, Web Security or simply left blank. Next, type the city where your company is located. Then the state where your company is located. From the drop down list, Select the country where your company is legally located. Here I am going to select India. So for India, it will be IN. When you are finished filling out the form, click the next button. Next, set the cryptographic service provider properties. In the drop down list, select Microsoft RSA as general cryptographic provider unless you have specific requirement for other cryptographic provider. Here, we'll go with the default selection. In the drop-down list, select 2048-bit. Again, it's up to you if you have a specific reason for opting for larger bit length, then select that bit length. In this example, I'm going with 2048-bit length. When you're done selecting these options, click Next to continue. On the file name page, under specify a file name for the certificate request, Click the ellipsis box to browse to a location where you want to save your CSR file. We will store the CSR file on desktop with the name CSR. Click on Open. You have to remember the file name that you choose and the location to which you save your CSR.txt file. If you just enter a file name without browsing to a location, your CSR file will end up in C colon slash Windows slash System32. This is the default location. When you are done, click Finish. At this point, we have successfully created Certificate Signing Request text file. Open File Explorer. We can see the CSR.txt file on the desktop. Now you have to copy this file to the Certificate Authority VM. Right click on CSR file and select Copy. Open Run menu, type double slash SRT22-CA01 slash C dollar and hit enter key. On C drive, paste the copied file. Right click in a free area 
and select paste. Let me close file explorer and this one too. The next step is to sign a certificate signing request with our local Windows Server Certification Authority. Let's go to our Certification Authority VM. Open Server Manager if it is not opened yet. Click on Tools and select Certification Authority. Click on CA Server Name. Right click on CA. Choose All Task. Submit New Request. Browse to the location where you have stored the CSR file which we have generated on our web server. We have stored the CSR file on C drive. Let's click on this PC and access C drive. Select the CSR file and click on open. We will receive an error that the request contains no certificate template information. If you have a Microsoft Certification Authority for lab or for production purposes, you cannot sign a certificate without a template. Due to the absence of template extension, the CSR file created by the IIS manager was rejected by the Microsoft Certification Authority. Click OK. At this point, to obtain a CA signed certificate from the CSR file, you have two options. Either you can use certrec command or you can use Certification Authority Web Enrollment Web Interface to obtain a certificate from this CSR file. In this video, we will use certrec command to obtain a CA signed certificate using our CSR file. There is a simple trick that consists of assigning a template to CSR using sign in process. Open a PowerShell as a domain user which has permissions to sign certificates. Right click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. We have to run certrec command with the attribute parameter and specify the template we want to apply. As this certificate is for IIS web service, we will use web server template. Let's type command certrec attrib certificate template colon web server. Now hit enter key to execute the command. A pop-up then asks us to specify the CSR file to sign. Select the CSR file and click on open. Then we have to select the certification authority to use. Select the local certification authority and click OK. Now to store the certificate, specify a name and location. Type name IIS-certificate and click on save. This will store the IIS certificate on C drive. The output of the certrec command should look something like this. The certificate should now appear in the list of issued certificate in the CS console. Let's check that. Go back to Certification Authority Console. Double click on Issued Certificates. Uh, let me maximize it. We can confirm that our CA has issued the web server certificate for srt22-srv02.msftwebcast.com. Now, next step is to install this SSL certificate and configure the web server to use it. On the server where you have created the CSR file, copy paste this SSL certificate file. Open File Explorer. Go to C drive. Right click on IIF certificate and select copy. Open run menu, type double slash srt22 half an srv02 slash c dollar and hit enter key. Paste the copied certificate on C drive. Let's close this and let's go to our web server VM. Let me maximize IS manager console. Remember we are on server certificates page. In the actions menu, click the complete certificate request link. Click the ellipsis box and browse to and select the .cer file which we have saved on C drive. Select the certificate IIS-certificate and click open. Type a friendly name for this certificate. The friendly name is not part of the certificate. Instead, it is used to identify this certificate. In the drop down list, select web hosting to store this new certificate. You can also select personal store as well. Click OK and wait for the process to finish. Now that we have successfully installed our SSL certificate, we need to assign the certificate to website. The next step is to bind the certificate to the particular website. Expand sites and click on default website. Under edit site, click the bindings link. 
click Add. From the drop-down list, select HTTPS. For IP address, select All Assigned or the site's current IP address. We'll go with All Assigned option. You have the option to modify the port number if you want. Keep the default port 443 selected. If you are serving more than one domain name from the same IP address, enter it in the hostname field and check the required server name indication box. If you are not using that, you can safely leave this blank. In the drop down list, select our new SSL certificate, CSR certificate. You can use the view button to get details about the selected certificate. Click OK. Click OK button to close the window and click on Close. Our SSL certificate is now installed and the website is configured to accept secure connections. That's all for this video on how to obtain CSI certificate from CSR file. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.